Uh, but first up today, journalist Jeremy Warner has been reflecting in the Telegraph recently on how Britain looks like it's set to return to the 1970s. Think strikes, financial crisis and a possible change of government. He says, now, I'm not knocking the 1970s, which encompassed my adolescence and college days and for me was therefore an indisputably groovy decade. But there is no denying that politically, economically and socially, it was also a pretty unsettled one. So while he was nostalgic for his groovy youth, um, do you find yourself looking back at your youth through, through rose-tinted glasses? Um... <laughs> I nearly choked on my chocolate. <laughs> Either that or I nearly got sick, I'm not sure. But um, I kind of look back on the, yeah, kind of, you know, mid-70s, mm -hmm. um, because we moved to London when I was nine, me and my family, because I'd worked up till then in all the clubs and everything. And then mm -hmm. when we moved to London, my sisters then went on to do cabaret stuff, and I was too young to do it. So between the ages of nine four, and 14, which is kind of like the mid-70s to early 80s, I had the best time because it was my child, my real childhood, and um, I could just be a kid. And I, I look back now, and I remember all my friends being because I was always allowed to have friends around after school, and just great fun times of being a kid and horse riding and all of that. And then later on, um, from seventy nine eighty, I then joined my sisters, and so it became quite pressurised then because it was full on. You know, our career really took off, and we were touring and. And so I couldn't really be a kid anymore. Yeah. Um, did you find that hard? Well, I did, really. I mean, I was very lucky. You know, by 18, I had my own house. And did you ever resent it? Did you ever feel you were missing out on stuff? I didn't. I didn't. I don't... I think when I had my own kids, I kind of... I'm, I'm a bit obsessive now about them having a normal, mm. proper childhood. And I think, hopefully... Um, they have, you know, the boys have. I mean, now they're young men and they're getting mm. on with their own lives. But I think Kira is, she's having the childhood that I remember yeah. I had for a period of time in the 70s. Well, we, but obviously we it actually, became more pressurised. We, we can show you a, a little clip of you of us as a slip of a thing. Oh, have a look at this. don't do this oh. to me. <laughs> ...had become a vital ingredient of talent and sometimes took its place. The musical family continues to be a popular proposition. When we first started... <laughs> Over here, we were told what to wear, what to say, what to do, you know. I mean, we got, it wasn't so bad having the family appeal, but we got a sweet, very, very sweet image. Oh, yes. <laughs> 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 Can I just say something? I said, you look like Shane Ritchie. <laughs> you husband on that. together then, probably, yeah. Were that you? was my first house. Then. How old were you there? Because I, I think you look only about 14 or something. I think How I'm about you? 21, 20, 21. <gasps> but really? I was really, actually, believe it or not, really? Uh, really shy as well. Like, I hated speaking on television. Really? Yeah, it didn't stay Make with me all my now. life, obviously. <laughs> um, but, yeah, they were, they were good times, the 70s. But I've actually preferred and loved my 40s. It's been the best time of my life. Hmm. How, about, how about you, Claire? I've got to say, I think... I look back at my childhood. I was when I was fourteen. I was singing in clubs, you know, like Phoenix Night type clubs, um, and I was at stage school. Then I went away to work on cruises. But I felt I really came into my own in my thirties. When I turned thirty, I discovered men, alcohol, and nightlife, <laughs> <laughs> and I blossomed. <laughs> well, do well, you know, we'll, be, we'll be the judge of that. Oh, go I on, Dave. Oh, I can't believe they're doing it. I didn't know there were any drugs in there. Neither of us did. This is my little girl we're talking about. I wouldn't do something like that to her. Oh, to smuggle drugs, that's sick. Alice, look! She, you get going, we'll take this. Tell Peter I love him! I was about 27 then, and I've got to say, it was a really happy time. I was with my footballer ex-boyfriend, who I loved so much. I was in a soap, and I was home, because I, I was the same as you. From yeah. the age of 14, I'd been travelling, working away. Oh, to, yeah. So to suddenly get a job mm. at home and be at my mum and dad's, yeah. get a yeah. fabulous fella, and I, I loved Brookie. Oh, oh, that was lovely seeing that. You can tell I'm not a natural blonde, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
unnatural honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, you know, that we're all four of us, all sort of different ages and, and different eras. I mean, when I, when I think back to sort of my teen years, um, you know, in, in the article he talked about his formative years, I think, yeah, it probably was student time because that was the only time in my life where I moved somewhere at the same time as everyone else because we moved around an awful lot when I was growing up. And so I was able to join a college at the same time that everyone else was joining. So I'd, I'd say that's sort of my oh. best time, really. Well, I mean, it wasn't the 70s, obviously. It was, it was the 80s. But how, how about you, Sherry? Oh, well, the, I'm dreading this. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'll carry on. Um, no, it was the most exciting time in the 70s for me. I came to London in 69, went to drama school. And can you imagine London? You know, the King's Road in 1969 wow. was the place to be. Swing in London, yeah. I know, and it, I was very, very young, and it was just the most wonderful time and things happened. I left drama school I went straight into a film with Richard Chamberlain oh, wow. and you kind of go oh my god you know and how lucky was I everything in those 70s I was so lucky was it you turned him <laughs> <laughs> you, work, you work with some amazing names including Jeremy Irons Take I a look did at oh that's my favorite tune who are you going to dance with? Me? No, dash it, me. Well, what about me? <laughs> Let me see now. Uh, me, 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 my. No. For shame's sake. Rotten loser, some people. Well, Nancy, how shall we divide the leftovers? <clears throat> That was love for Lydia, and it was it was a wonderful, wonderful series to be in. It was my first television series with lovely people like Jeremy Irons. How old were you then? Um, about 24, I think. Oh. And it was just the start of my career in drama, and it was just I have it's made me fill up actually because it was just such a fantastic mm. time in my life and. That was a wonderful show to do, so I'll, uh, thank you for showing oh. that. I've never seen that for 395 years. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a short break.